Good morning. It's Good News Friday. People are laughing here in Sweden today. I will tell you why. Public Service TV, uh, tax-funded, left-wing, crap, bullshit TV, they decided to do this hard-hitting piece and they showed it on prime time. Yeah. They didn't go to a no-go zone or talk to rape victims or something. No, they went to see a kayak club <laughs> to ask them very, very tough questions on why this club didn't want to change its name. It's true. Uh, and the club said, no, we will not change the name. We had this name since 1942. We like the name. The name is Eskimo. Right. And you know, they believe this is important. People don't think this is important. People don't care about a kayak club with the name of Eskimo. But they actually believe it, you see. These people are insane. Yes. And the, of course, they were so ridiculed on social media because of this. People were laughing. Yeah. And some people were angry, of course. You know, this is tax funded. People are paying taxes for this bullshit. Wow. Uh, Joe Biden in the United States, he called for all governors to mandate the wearing of masks. For every single American to wear a mask for the next three months at the minimum. It's fantastic, isn't it? How these Democrats, these lefties, they always sort of end up at the wrong decisions. <laughs> they do. So he believes this is a good thing, of course. Yeah. People will vote for him because he's very strong. He's very determined to handle the virus. You know? And anybody who isn't demanding of people to wear a mask is basically wanting people to be killed. It's all politics, isn't it? Well, the good news here is, of course, that jo Donald Trump, he said no. He rejected this. He said no. People, Americans, uh, they deserve their freedom. So the Trump said, no, it's up to the governors to decide. Based on science. Well, these masks, they don't work. I don't think so. Hmm. All right. Uh, now, Canada. Justin Trudeau. What else? Well, I love this. You know, they have a problem with Justin Trudeau in Canada because he doesn't show up uh, at work. <laughs> He's hiding. Yeah. Uh, for a long, long time now. He's refusing to show up to work. Yeah. And now, uh, this conservative finance guy, Pierre Poilievre, I don't know how to pronounce his name. Now, he's calling for Trudeau's pay to be suspended. This is great. Until he shows up. This is what he says. Parliament should suspend Trudeau's pay until he comes to work. I introduced a motion to that effect at Finance Committee today, he says. The chair tried to shut it down. I will bring it back. I love it. <laughs> and this I love the most. This is the best. Yeah. Uh, London. There will be a protest in London on the 29th of August. And it looks like it's going to be very, very big. Uh, a doctor's protest. This is about the restrictions, of course, in the United Kingdom. And this is what they say. They have received confirmation from several high-profile doctors that they will attend. This guy, Dr. Butta, you know, that I talked about some time ago. Brilliant man, Dr. Butta. He says that he will be able to make it. Yeah. And here's the best news of it all. Uh, when they are doing this protest on 29th of August, they will be linking to another protest in Germany that is happening at the same day, at the same time. This is fantastic. 
yes. This connection, people connecting. Very good, I love this. So they will be linking uh, via live video link. Brilliant. So 29th of August, London, Germany. Yeah, all right. I wish you a great weekend. Bye.